<laughs> and there's no way, there's no way, right? Oh my god. <laughs> we have a new tower in TDS. 3,000 coins. Let's buy this thing. This is what it looks like. He's got that builder look. And oh my gosh, what are we waiting for? Let's, let's, go, let's go get this started. I got a pretty good loadout down here equipped. And the map that I'm going to be running this on is... Probably let's just do toy board, you know, like, 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 let's just do toy board. We also got the brand new easy mode. This is huge. They finally rebalanced the hardest mode in the game. And I mean, I'm just going to say this two years. That's how long it's been since the last time they've added a tower. They've added event towers, but the last time they've added a tower in the shop. Yeah, that was the engineer two years ago. Or maybe it was Warden. You know what? I don't even remember anymore. One is we have a new tower, and I'm really happy with that. So let me start off by farming in this new easy mode here. And we're actually going to see how easy this truly is. In typical fashion, of course, going to be reviewing this in practice. Just so you get to see how good the tower is in an actual match. And looking at these first waves, we have 16 HP worth of normals. Have a few more this round and some speedies as well. Nothing that you can't handle with uh, just a couple of scouts, actually. And that seems pretty reasonable it's kind of like uh molten mode actually molten mode might have less normals than this on its second wave you know i unironically think that this is still harder than molten mode like if you had some snipers i guess that would be fine wave four and we're already seeing slows and they have 14 hp didn't it used to be eight <laughs> yes secretly like buffed normal mode and just called it easy mode they're messing with us okay i think now i have the money for a trapper i'm gonna get him at the back because where else do you get trapper and instantly you could see uh he drops a spike every 6.5 seconds he actually targets the enemies and i'm not sure the exact hp of this spike but i think it's 40. in fact i'm about to see right here we've got one spike and we're gonna see how much damage this guy gets so right now he's at six and okay yeah the, the spike disappeared two spikes disappeared at 40 which uh let me let me cook real quick so two of them do 34 damage that means one of them does 17 i think it's 17 damage per trap let's get let's give this guy upgrades so this one makes him just throw out more traps throw them out faster this one okay yeah we can actually see the spike damage it's 25 i don't know okay i guess it just doesn't show the right amount and also what the hell i'm almost dead wait what am i dying to like th there must be so much track behind that thing okay we need more defense uh trapper trapper we have a normal boss on wave okay you know what <laughs> maybe easy mode is not that easy what the heck bro uh, look what i'm dealing with come on let me skip please i i just need these these stronger traps okay thank you i still can't place down landmines okay there we go we got a whole oh shoot that thing's pretty big but it <laughs> still gets destroyed it's weird that the normal boss has like a boss HP bar. Like that's that's trippy. Okay, come on, let's just keep getting down our trappers. And I think, yep, seven is the placement limit. Let's see how easily we can kill this boss. Holy! That boss okay, that actually kind of shredded it. I think I'm safe to farm. Wait, there's another boss. And I'll be fine. I'm assuming that the traps in this game aren't like TDX where they're like dookie and, and for some reason they can't hit hiddens. What kind of logic is that? And also we're building up quite the defense back here. This did cost me a lot of money, though, so uh, I wouldn't exactly call this overpowered. Here comes a boss, kind of trampling our traps a little bit. It's fine. I'll tell you a little secret. Come here. Also, you better like and subscribe and use Starcody for this one. The traps actually used to not tell you how much damage. They you see spike damage 40 to 50? I was in the testing place because TDS let me. Like just a bit before the update, I was in the testing place. This was not a thing. It would just say increased damage. So we would not have even known how much damage the... Uh, <laughs> the freaking traps do also the breakers just uh, yeah they demolish my um my traps also please don't die to these i'm fine which means upgrading this farm getting this new farm down getting this okay it's enough messing around let's just get a mini gunner here and defend for a bit I'll, I'll come back to you when i upgrade some of these trappers okay i didn't quite upgrade them but here's the amount of traps that they have laid down here at the back this is the, currently their max amount they can't place anymore and that's at least five per trapper so you can have 35 traps that do 25 damage each so yeah you could have a con couple hundred uh damage worth of traps just laying around in the back there that is not bad at all if you're one of those teammates who just doesn't have the best stuff and you want to help out your team or maybe if you get like a panic attack every time like something with two hp leaks use trapper because this this genuinely does not feel like a bad tower also what the heck bro there's a strong necromancer with skeletons that have oh, only 15 hp well still just upgrade this my god bro this is actually rough there's hidden skeletons oh my god bro the fact that i'm using golden mini 
and this is not an absolute piece of cake right now, is telling me that this mode is not so easy. I just got $2,000 on wave 14. Okay, let's look at this. Yeah, Necromancer just gets absolutely shredded. And look at this. All of these have like 30 HP. Uh, wait, actually, they have less. Okay. But yeah, I, wow. These traps are pretty effective. A boss on wave 16. Okay. L TDS, what did you change in easy mode? This boss is still here before the freaking... Oh my god. Like the... the uh, whatever the boss is in hardcore mode, the first one that comes out, it, it still comes out later than this. It's time I skip the wave and I guess, um, oh, there's a shadow boss. Okay, let's just get this. I think that's going to be good enough. I mean, yeah, the HP's flying down. This should be dead to all the traps. Yes, that wasn't much of an issue. The shadow boss, though, I'm concerned, dude. I don't know if I'll kill it. Well, we got traps. Okay, look, I'm just going to, I'm going to skip again and just upgrade all of our trappers to the one that does, uh, what, 40 damage. So if you have a set of uh, 40 damage trappers at the back, doing a little bit of quick math, I think that is... 40 times 49 so you can almost have 2,000 damage just lying around at the back ready to be dealt and that once again reassures me enough for me to start skipping the waves oh this is crazy these bolts are faster than i remember i feel like tds secretly buffed easy mode i'm actually gonna sell one of these trappers first let's see when i sell a trapper do its traps disappear yes they do they didn't want to pull a TDX mine layer, where the mine layer was literally the best thing used for killing the final boss. But yeah, I sold that because uh, it's time for me to get down a DJ and then upgrade a little because I want to start getting trappers further up. You notice that there's still the landmine and bear trap that we haven't even seen. This is ridiculous though. I'm like, li I'm literally gonna die. Let me just max this mini mini gun real quick. Get a commander for it. What in the heck, bro? What is what? What is this actually? Okay, two max level minigunners and a commander chain setup. I think that should be good enough to defend freaking easy mode. The Gravedigger has arrived on wave 25. You're telling me we have even less time now to prepare for the Gravedigger. DDS, what is this easy mode? Oh my god, I really don't think this is easy. But alright, let's test some of our traps here. Um, of course, we already saw the stats for this one. This one increases our max traps to 8. Let me actually just sell one of these minigunners just so we don't have too much damage on the map here we go let's get the landmine trap i think all of them do the same amount of damage let's set it to landmine actually and see uh let's see what it what it can throw out come on come on trapper throw it boom there's the amount of damage it does and it also does fire now let me get one more uh trapper over here and give it the max level bear trap actually and see what that does you gotta click this trap thing so it says bear trap equipped and it didn't even throw out the landmine that's goofy there you go now threw it out and uh, did 100 damage. Not terrible, I guess. Let's let's see how that compares to uh, just a normal spike. Can it throw it out? 60 damage. Okay. And the landmine? It, it, it's not throwing the landmine. Okay, there you go. I see it holding it. Let's throw it. And this is just so much better. Why would you use the spike? Uh, I guess you use the spikes because they don't disappear. But the landmines, you know, as soon as an enemy steps on it, it's just gone. Bear trap, I assume, would trap enemies. Because <laughs> that's what it does. It just stops enemies in place. And if it doesn't do that, then I don't know what the point is. Okay, um, let's, I, I don't even know. I don't even have a proper defense setup back here. I'm just going to get these golden minigunners and win. Uh, am I really dead to, to easy mode? Can I, oh yeah, okay, I think I'm dead because it's spawning. Minigun? <laughs> I just died to easy mode. But ultimately, the review was on Trapper, so I'm going to give one final word on it, and you got to hear me out. Very useful support tower. Like, you will not be taking damage. This thing can stock up so much HP at the back. And it doesn't even take that long to build up. This is definitely a really good tower. The only downside is it needs a lot of time. So if you want quick games, you know, put some golden scouts at the front or whatnot. Yeah, then Trapper probably isn't that useful. And especially for bosses, it, it just sucks. But definitely worth the 3,000 coins. So yeah, again, like, subscribe, you start good. See ya.